Liam News, winner of the 2022 Regional Edward R. Murrow Award for Excellence in Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion for the Culture Club. KUAM News Hotspot is brought to you by Calvo Enterprises, Inc. Hello and half a day, everybody. If you are watching us right now, that means three things. You're either on YouTube or Facebook or KUM TV. That means it must be 11 o'clock and that means you must be hungry for Guam news because we're going to give you a whole bunch of stuff there's a lot of stuff going on in our island community for you to know for you to take part in or for you to be proud about and we are going to bring it to you right here on the hotspot because that is what we do here is what we are looking at today in our menu we continue to celebrate women's history month as it is throughout the month of march by shining the spotlight on incredible women in different industries we've featured many of these women over the years and we are once again going to give them their amazing due credit because each of them is unbelievable. And we're going to show them to you coming up. Later, we'll get a look at entertainment headlines showing you what is happening in Tinseltown. I heard there was like an award show the other day, like something like movie, movie industry people were like really, really jazzed about it. And we'll show you what's going on in Hollywood. Also, it is Boca Talk, so we are going to teach you how to live a healthy island lifestyle, how you don't have to give up great flavor or satisfying your mind and your stomach and you don't have to pack on the pounds. So Jess Rosario is going to join us from the Boca, Boca Box later on for that. And we are going to close out with an all sports edition of News Bites. I wrote today's show, me, or at least News Bites and everything, because we want to show you guys what athletes, coaches, venues, athletics is awesome. Guam is the best place for that, and we are going to show you what's going on. But first, we are going to celebrate Women's History Month. We're going to continue to celebrate it because we continue to celebrate Guam's amazing women. The future is Famalawan, as our wonderful governor, the Magahaga, once said. Um, our weekly feature, Women's Herstory. Now, do you say herstory or her story? Mike Villagomez and I were going back on this, but whatever way you say it, it is awesome. It is to be celebrated, and it is a segment that we are proud to bring you each and every Wednesday right here in the hot spot. So here are some of the amazing women on Guam making a wave in industry. My name is Tossie Ada. I'm a licensed doctor of physical therapy. I am one of the practicing clinicians there at Custom Fitness. I also coach and I personal train and then I also provide some programming as well. And I'm the Guam Rugby Physio for the women's team. My name is Livia Marathi and I'm the founder of Eno Wellness Collective. My name is Clara Calvo and I am the founder and co-owner of Synergy Studios and Wellness. Hafnay, my name is Francesca Ambrose. I am an account executive at Calvo Select Care. My name is Desiree A. Mukugai, and I am the co-owner of the Fortress Guam. I think first and foremost is fostering an environment that influences growth, but most importantly, provides a place for everyone in fitness. Um, we just are trying to touch lives and change the culture one goal at a time. The motto at Synergy has been, it's been 19 years since 2004, has always been where fitness meets wellness. And so our mission is really just to provide those tools to help empower people to bridge fitness and wellness, mentally, emotionally, and physically, obviously. The mission is really to to inspire a holistic, healthy lifestyle here on Guam and to make wellness accessible within our island and then beyond as well. Being able to be a part of everyone's journey. When clients first come to me, they come to me with kind of almost a generic goal and then that transforms into other things. So it's an honor to be a part of that and just kind of sit back and witness this metamorphosis, if you will. It's been really amazing to see over the past three years, uh, really the community start to grow. The events are getting bigger, there's more demand. Also just seeing people start their wellness journey. So come to their first yoga class, experience their first event, and then see that spark an even bigger wellness journey for them too. Some of the most rewarding things is being able to help people of course someone is scared someone's having an issue and we can walk them through it and they're like thank you for making that so easy thank you for your assistance through that that's always nice to hear don't 
just recite your philosophy, embody it. I hope I'm saying that right, but Epictetus, and he is a Stoic Greek philosopher, and so really just making sure you're leading by example. Lately, I would say I've been saying say la vie a lot. In the past, I don't like change. I like things to stay as is, and so when things change, I've just been like, when I'm throwing something, I've just been kind of like say la vie, learning to control things that I can control, and to kind of let go of the ones that I have no control over. Just move on. My quote for life, I would say, is really just trust the process. That has shown up a lot for me as an entrepreneur in my own wellness journey and just trusting the timing and, and trusting the process. For me, it's going to a CrossFit class at Stu Athletics. Not just the actual workout, but yes, the working out itself is always a good reliever, even if at times I'm like, I don't really wanna go. I know at the end of that hour, I'm gonna walk out and I'm gonna feel so much better. Doing absolutely nothing, which I'm a mom of three, so that never happens, but I, I think just being able to be home finally and, and with my family. I find that when I just stop, because I tend to, I'm a Gemini moon, so I tend to just go, 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 do try to do as much as I can. When I just pause, close my eyes, take a deep breath, and just bring to mind all of my blessings, and it's usually just my son hearing him laugh, or usually it's just I'm thinking of all the people in my life that I'm grateful for. My hype song is gonna have to be uh, Pick Up The Pace by Big Crit. He's a Southern rapper, and really the reason is in the, the name, the title, it, Picking Up The Pace. And so anytime I feel like I'm losing momentum, or I feel like I, I just need to have that last push to complete a task, usually that's a good song that I I go to. I love old school hip hop, so everything from Eric B and Rakim to um, everything, Nas, a lot of Busta Rhymes music, Missy, and Let Me Clear My Throat is definitely one of my top. Ladies, thank you very much for sharing your inspiring stories with us and continuing to have the success that you do. Wonderful, wonderful island ladies. See, I told you they were awesome. Also, really, really nice people really good ladies so check out their businesses all right it is time for our entertainment report and daniel dared me to do this because we're going to show you a sneak peek at disney's the little mermaid look at this stuff isn't it neat don't you think my collection's complete you know you want thingamabobs i've got 20 all right this is not the performance of disney's little mermaid it's actually happening by much more talented performers on a much bigger stage all right you watch this story right now i'm gonna go get sued by disney for copyright infringement i'll see you in a bit the first full trailer is out for Disney's live action take on The Little Mermaid. Singer Halle Bailey stars as Ariel, while Javier Bardem plays her father, King Triton. Moviegoers are also getting a first look at Melissa McCarthy in the role of Ursula. You can't live in that world unless you become a human yourself. The Little Mermaid is set to hit the big screen May 26th. Rapper Drake is hitting the road for his first North American tour in five years. The It's All a Blur tour will celebrate the last decade of his career and kicks off in New Orleans in June. Other stops include Boston, Miami, and Los Angeles. Tickets go on sale Friday. And the new documentary, Bono and the Edge, a sort of homecoming with Dave Letterman, hits Disney Plus Friday. The legendary talk show host interviews the Irish rock icons for the film. They've been together so long and they've had so many great pieces of music, but they can't stop it. Yeah, I mean, once the switch is thrown, it stays thrown. The Irish are really good at, at, at talking. Except when the cameras are on. We were, we're not so good at that. We're better in pubs. He made us forget that the cameras were there. Bono and the Edge, a sort of homecoming with Dave Letterman, coincides with the release of U2's retrospective album, Songs of Surrender, also out March 17th. That's your eye on entertainment. Nichelle Medina, CBS News, Los Angeles. Dude, when you've got U2 and The Little Mermaid on your show, you know you're having a good afternoon. Plus, we've got lunch coming up and everything. All right, so before we do that, we've got another wonderful thing. Uh, Mr. Daniel, are you a big fan of Shazam? Okay, he said so-so. Well, tell you what, if you are not on board with Shazam, the movie is coming out, and Miss Constance Kamat, who was here the other day, wants to send you there. All you got to do is let me know. Again, you can DM us at Facebook or Instagram. We are at KUM News. 
Can you please let me know, that is Zachary Levy playing the lead role, what show is he most famous for? That's not Zachary Quinto, all right? That's Zachary Levy. Zachary Quinto was, you know, like the guy who played uh, Mr. Spock on Star Trek. This is Zachary Levy, amazing actor. He is playing Shazam. Shazam! All right? So if you can tell us what famous TV series he got his break in. He became a household name because of this TV series. You might have seen it on KUM TV way back. If you can let us know, send it to our DMs, and we are going to send you to the movies where you can enjoy Shazam. That is super awesome. And you know what's awesome? The rest of the show, and we will get to that right after this quick commercial break. You are watching The Hot Spot right here on KUM. Yeah. Nobody like me. Blessings, blessings, blessings. All come from life blessings. Wanna know what's next? Keep guessing. Go time, no time for questions. Throw chakra on, show off. Stepping out slow mo. You can see the glow up light. I'm supernova. You know I'm coming for ya. When is Zen Hafe Day? As you all know, our islands had a very successful check, check. year. I'd love to hear about all of the progress we've made. Skyler, why don't we start with you? We've helped over 1,200 Guam kids and their families pay for childcare. And that's over $5.5 million in childcare costs so far. Over 130 after school and community care programs have received grant funding for programs like swimming. And cycling. And soccer. And jiu-jitsu. We've also graduated three cohorts. And our provider certification program at GCC. And certified over 75 relative care providers. Looks like we have a messaging coming from headquarters. Hi kids, I just want to say congratulations on all your successes this past year. Thank you, Governor Lou. We couldn't have done it without you. Keep up the great work. He's ready for recess. This ad is paid for with funds administered by the Department of Public Health and Social Services. The One Micronesia Show, Sundays on the stations and digital platforms of KUAM Communications. Join me, Victoria Spahn, for one-on-one -on -one interviews with Micronesians in our region and around the world doing amazing things and representing our community. Plus, I'll be sharing different looks at our diverse cultures, languages, food, and much more. And as a special treat and a way to end the show, we're hooking you up with a musical performance every month with the One Mic Jam Sesh. Sharing music from all over the Micronesian region. It's sharing our common world because we are One Micronesia. Only Pizza Hut lets you surround your favorite pizza with greatness. The one and only stuffed crust pizza tempts your taste buds with melted cheese stuffed inside that amazing crust. And at just $18.99 with one topping, the stuffed crust pizza is truly irresistible. So grab your slice of pizza perfection with cheesy goodness baked right into the crust. The stuffed crust pizza, just $18.99 with one topping. Only at Pizza Hut, the island's best. The KUAM Care Force and St. Baldrick's Foundation present the return of the Great Shaveathon on Saturday, March 18th. We'll be shaving heads to build hope, awareness, and to raise funds in the fight against childhood cancer from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Guam Premier Outlets in Tamuning. Please gather friends, family, classmates, co-workers, or even total strangers as you show your support to end childhood cancer and brave the shave with us this year. All proceeds raised will benefit the St. Baldrick's Foundation as well as our local beneficiary, the Edward M. Calvo Cancer Foundation. Special thanks to GPO and the GCC Cosmetology Program. Join us on Saturday, March 18th from 10 to 1. Sign up to be a shavy or just show your support in the fight against childhood cancer. For more information, visit stbaldricks.org slash events slash guam. KUEM News, winner of the 2022 Regional Edward R. Murrow Award for Excellence in Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion for the Culture Club. All right, everybody, welcome back to the hot spot. The live stream continues, and I know what you're thinking around this time of day. What is going to be for lunch? Now, of course, you know, we want to pass on information. We want to help you make informed, educated, smart decisions. And who better to bring that in when it comes to what you put in your tummy and what will actually benefit you for the rest of your life than our friend Jess Rosario. He is the man down at Boca Box. He is down in Hagatna, and he is joining us this week for another episode of Boca Talks. Jess, half a day as always, my friend. 
Hafre Guam, welcome back to the Boca Box. I am Jess Rosario, the owner and nutrition professional here. Uh, you are listening to The Hot Spot on a rainy Wednesday. And I wanted to take our lunch time to kind of talk about something that hits home for a lot of people on Guam and pretty much nationwide. We talk a lot about nutrition and we talk a lot about food and how to go on diets, right? But one of the things that I wanted to really dive into today was talking about our heart. And yes, I know February's over and it's March, um, but I'm talking about our heart health and taking a look at how we can eat better so that we keep our heart very healthy. Now, one of the things that happens for a lot of people is that they don't know that they have heart disease or they're at risk for heart disease, right? Um, a lot of times, especially uh, because of our culture, we don't like going to the doctor. And when we do, it kind of is, um, you're kind of put in a bad time where you have heart disease. So for example, right? Heart disease actually hit me and my family uh, late, not late last year, but last year in May, uh, my dad went through some things where he had to go off island to get heart surgery. And although he had the, I guess, the, the sources where he had opportunities to exercise, he had opportunities to eat healthy, over time, the way that he lived his life kind of uh, contributed to uh, to his heart disease. But now we're taking steps to get him healthier, his surgery went well, but there are certain things that he has to do in order to keep his heart healthy. And just looking back at the whole experience, right, he, he talked to the doctors, the doctors gave, gave him papers, and you know, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a registered nutritionist, but I went to school for this and I have knowledge and an appreciation for nutrition which allows me to take the recommendations by the doctors and the and the, the dietitians and help people to apply it in their lives with the meals that we have. One of the things that we've done with my dad is to un help him to understand that nutrition and eating for your heart does not have to be complicated. And that's pretty much it. We think too much about I have heart disease or I have this and I have that and I have to change my whole lifestyle. Yes, you have to change your whole lifestyle, but it doesn't have to be hard. I'm gonna show you some things that we've done with him that kind of helped him to live a better lifestyle. Now, heart disease works in the sense where uh, there's plaque buildup in your arteries and we have to figure out how to either prevent that or start to take care of that where it starts to diminish and we start to um, break down the plaque that's in our artery so that our heart gets a lot of the blood that is supposed to be pumping to it, right? Because we want to prevent heart attacks and strokes. So um, a couple things that we have to do is acknowledge, okay, what are, what are the risk factors for heart disease? Well, of course, there's obesity, there's diabetes, there's an unhealthy eating habit, there is lack of inactivity, but there's also um, excessive alcohol consumption or alcohol usage, right? So we have to take a look at that in his lifestyle and say, okay, where are things that we can change and we can modify so that it gets better? One, of course, is okay, we're going to limit the alcohol, we're going to change, you know, we, we have to be realistic about our approach. We can't tell them, oh, you have to stop drinking alcohol because that's just not going to be realistic. So we change the type of alcohol he drinks and the amount that he drinks. So portion controls with the alcohol. We change, or we change his inactivity, we get him to move a little bit more. Um, we get him to understand how to eat better. And that's where I wanted to talk about today is what are some foods that can help your heart and keep you healthy at the same time? Of course, uh, limiting foods that are high in saturated fats, which are solid fats, things like butter, things like mantica on the meat, right? Things like that we need to limit within our diet. But there's also foods that uh, we should be li limiting in excess, right? And we usually don't think about this. We, when we think about heart disease, we think about fat. And we think about, oh, if I eat manteca, if I eat butter, if I eat this and that, it's going to cause plaque buildup in my arteries. But that's not the only food that contributes to that. Now, I want you to, to take a step back and think about the American diet and why heart disease is one of the leading causes of death within our island and within the nation. 70% of the American diet, and especially what we eat on Guam, is made up of carbohydrates. And not just carbohydrates in general, but 
I'm talking about refined uh, carbohydrates or, or simple carbohydrates. That's things like uh, refined sugars, refined uh, uh, grains. I'm talking about uh, white rice, white bread, pastas. These grains and these carbohydrates don't have a lot of nutrient value compared to the whole product. So brown rice, wheat bread, uh, whole, grain, whole grain products, right? Uh, but within our culture, within our island, within the foods that we eat, we consume a lot of these products. Now, anything that we eat in excess, if we don't use it up, turns into fat. Now, that could be a reason why there's so much fat buildup in our body. Usually, again, fat, we, we look at our body and we're like, oh, okay, I, I have fat growing here, 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 whatever. But a lot of times, fat grows in places that we can't see, which is inside our body. And that's the scary part. We can't see that, so we need to take added measures to make sure that we are taking care of that because you know heart disease is the silent killer because we just don't know it's there until until later on um, but we need to limit foods that are high in saturated fat and we also need to limit foods that are high in uh, simple carbohydrates or simple sugars right we need to increase our consumption of fruits and vegetables obviously because you know we have to eat our vegetables every single day but we also need to limit the amount of carbohydrates but look at the quality of carbohydrates that we're uh, that we're consuming so things like brown rice wheat bread fiber rich foods are going to be really good for our heart because one it takes time for it to break down so you're not going to get a, an increase or a, a big spike in sugar levels and you're not going to eat as much because your body's just going to tell you that you're you're satisfied and you're not going to eat a lot of it um, fiber rich foods again we need to consume a lot of but that also means fiber is found in fruits and in vegetables which within our our local diets we don't eat a lot of so i'm always gonna gonna promote the consumption of fruits and vegetables within our meal plans here at the boca box we focus on things just like that right nutrient rich products nutrient rich carbohydrates like quinoa brown rice um uh, whole grain pastas and things like that we look at increasing the vegetable consumption within the meal so we'll have like uh, broccoli lettuce tomatoes um, all these different things we put fruit in there because we still need some sort of sugar but we want to have it natural sugars uh, the breads that we use are also um, uh, unrefined so it's not like white or yeah it's not like uh, white flour or white rice um, again it's very nutrient dense and it helps the body not only to get the vitamins and minerals that you need but it also helps the body to regulate some of the things like um, high increases in blood sugar uh, lower um, lower fat or healthier fat oh and that's the other thing when we start talking about fat right we have to talk about good fats and bad fats and I don't like using the term good and bad because for me, everything is good, too much of anything is bad, right? So, like when people go on the keto diet, they're kind of like apprehensive about it because, oh, there's so much fat, and fat leads to clogged arteries, fat leads to um, uh, coronary artery disease, but it's not, a lot of the studies coming out don't attribute uh, plaque buildup to just saturated fat. There's a whole bunch of things, right? So when we're looking at eating for our heart, again, the best diet is one that is very well balanced. And again, by that I mean you're balanced in your carbohydrates. You're looking at whole grain products. You're looking at the amount of carbohydrates and sugars that you're eating. You're eating uh, a diet that is um, abundant in fruits and vegetables, especially vegetables because they have uh, fiber-rich foods. You're eating lean proteins that like fish, chicken, turkey, um, seafood, things that are good and that are just good for us and not too fatty. There are a lot of things that we can eat when it comes to disease. We just need to be very well balanced with that. If you have any questions about um, how food affects your body and how you can live a healthier lifestyle, check me out at the Boca Box. Talk to any one of our staff. We can set you up with a meal plan that is great for you and works with your, your health and your diets. Again, I'm Jesse from the Boca Box, and I'll see you guys next week. Thank you so much, Jess, man. We, we always appreciate the knowledge. 
the information and ju just truly cares about what he does. Passing on um, the word that, yeah, you make smart decisions, take a little bit of time to think about it, you eat good, you look good. And speaking of amazing presentation, I don't know, I couldn't see if in those meals he had some, uh, some pistachios, but I'm liking the mustachio. You see that? Just looks good with that. I, I like that. You know, it's, it's Lenten season, you know, grow out the mustache. All right. I don't know why I brought that up. All right. Well, uh, what I do know is that we are having an all sports edition of News Bites when we return after this. Get up to the minute news, plus access to alerts, streaming radio, promotions, and more on your mobile device by downloading the KUAM News mobile app, available at the App Store now. MVP, nobody like me. Blessings, blessings, blessings. All come from life blessings. Wanna know what's next? Keep guessing. No time, no time for questions. Throw chakra on, show off. Slipping not slow mo. You can see the glow up. When is Zen Hafe Day? As you all know, our Ellen's had a very successful year. And I'd love to hear about all of the progress we've made. Skyler, why don't we start with you? We've helped over 1,200 Guam kids and their families pay for childcare. And that's over $5.5 million in childcare costs so far. Over 130 after school and community care programs have received grant funding for programs like swimming. And cycling. And soccer. And jiu-jitsu. We've also graduated three cohorts. And our provider certification program at GCC. And certified over 75 relative care providers. Looks like we have a message incoming from headquarters. Hi kids, I just want to say congratulations on all your successes this past year. Thank you, Governor Lou. We couldn't have done it without you. Keep up the great work. He's ready for recess. This ad is paid for with funds administered by the Department of Public Health and Social Services. The One Micronesia Show, Sundays on the stations and digital platforms of KUAM Communications. Join me, Victoria Spahn, for one-on-one -on -one interviews with Micronesians in our region and around the world doing amazing things and representing our community. Plus, I'll be sharing different looks at our diverse cultures, languages, food, and much more. And as a special treat and a way to end the show, we're hooking you up with a musical performance every month with the One Mic Jab Sesh. Sharing music from all over the Micronesian region. It's sharing our common world because we are One Micronesia. Only Pizza Hut lets you surround your favorite pizza with greatness. The one and only stuffed crust pizza tempts your taste buds with melted cheese stuffed inside that amazing crust. And at just $18.99 with one topping, the stuffed crust pizza is truly irresistible. So grab your slice of pizza perfection with cheesy goodness baked right into the crust. The stuffed crust pizza, just $18.99 with one topping. Only at Pizza Hut, the island's best. The KUAM Care Force and St. Baldrick's Foundation present the return of the Great Shave-a-thon on Saturday, March 18th. We'll be shaving heads to build hope, awareness, and to raise funds in the fight against childhood cancer from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Guam Premier Outlets in Tamuning. Please gather friends, family, classmates, co-workers, or even total strangers as you show your support to end childhood cancer and brave the shave with us this year. All proceeds raised will benefit the St. Baldrick's Foundation, as well as our local beneficiary, the Edward M. Calvo Cancer Foundation. Special thanks to GPO and the GCC Cosmetology Program. Join us on Saturday, March 18th from 10 to 1. Sign up to be a shavy or just show your support in the fight against childhood cancer. For more information, visit stbaldricks.org slash events slash Guam. Subscribe to our KOM News Digest, our weekly email newsletter with all kinds of information straight to your inbox. Just subscribe and we'll make sure to keep you informed and entertained with news from the KUAM News Team, what to watch on NBC and CBS, and the latest promotions from KUAM Communications. Go to KUAM.com, click on the newsletter tab at the top of the homepage, register, and you're all set. Brought to you by Uno Go, Guam On Demand. All right, special shout out to our very own Joe Nuggan Charfer. She came into the studio during commercial break to tell me that that pistachio mustachio joke, she goes, that's so corny. 
And watch, guarantee five minutes after the show is over, she's like, can I have that clip for my Instagram story? It always happens. This, this, is, this is my life. And it's awesome. So Joan, we love you. She's the best in the business. All right. We have an all sports edition. But speaking of Joan's benevolence, she actually let me write today's episode of uh, News Bites. And I said, let's do an all sports one. So here we go. These are all about Island Athletics. And there is great news to honor a late member of our beloved Island community as the Ash Lom Foundation, the organization that was created uh, to honor the memory of the young Guamanian whose name it bears that we lost last year, donated $2,123 to Harvest House to help foster kids. And there's a grand prize of the Dash for Ash skydive. There they are. They went on a skydiving trip, so had a blast apparently. Why not? I mean, that's, that's awesome. This was a part of the Be Kind to Your Mind 5K that his wonderful mother, Dr. Yitka Lam from Express Care, set up in his memory. Awesome job by an amazing organization, and the memory of Ash continues to live on. Outstanding. Well, if you are female and if you are into flag football or you're considering getting into the sport, one, we want to let you know that you should register and get involved with the Flag Football Ladies Association of Guam for clinics, workshops, and about the format, gameplay, all the rules, and you can interact with the CEO and founder of the international organization who is en route to Guam. Our friend and my auntie, Linda Salas, and her team are putting this first ever lead together. So get your game face on, and I personally look forward to covering you when you are doing your thing out on the gridiron. Women's flag football is awesome. Check it out. That's going to be cool. All right, congratulations and very well deservedly so to the IIAG Middle School All-Island Soccer Team. They are led by MVP Olivia Conroy from St. John's School. Great job by all who put in the hard work and deserve the recognition. You truly are the best of the best. Speaking of, we have more outstanding island, edu uh, island educators, island athletes to tell you about as I look at the screen over there. <laughs> Congratulations to the IIAG All-Island Middle School Boys Volleyball Team who are led by another MVP, also from St. John's, Kobe Miyashita. He is a knight. Well done to everyone who made the team for both soccer and boys volleyball. These are the next generation of the great athletes. I had the great pleasure of reading about them, watching them, uh, when I was a kid, you know, my peers growing up with them and everything, tr trust me, these are memories that are going to last a lifetime. So outstanding job. The work you guys put in, truly, truly paying off. All right, all sports on News Bites. Thank you, Joan. I had a blast doing that. Let's, let's do it again sometime. But tell you what, stay tuned because we are back with more Hotspot right after this. The KUAM Care Force and St. Baldrick's Foundation present the return of the Great shave -thon on Saturday, March 18th. We'll be shaving heads to build hope, awareness, and to raise funds in the fight against childhood cancer from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Guam Premier Outlets in Tumuning. Please gather friends, family, classmates, co-workers, or even total strangers as you show your support to end childhood cancer and brave the shave with us this year. All proceeds raised will benefit the St. Baldrick's Foundation as well as our local beneficiary, the Edward M. Calvo Cancer Foundation. Special thanks to GPO and the GCC Cosmetology Program. Join us on Saturday, March 18th from 10 to 1. Sign up to be a shavy or just show your support in the fight against childhood cancer. For more information, visit stbaldricks.org slash events slash Guam. Real quick, everybody, speaking of St. Baldrick's, you may have noticed that the, the poofiness is back here. Um, this little mushroom cloud that I have grown, I am growing my hair out so that I can be shaved tomorrow on the air. We are kicking off the St. Baldrick's event, so please make plans to watch us right here, same time, same streaming outlets, same channel, TV8, um, starting at 11 a.m. tomorrow, where I am going to kick off the St. Baldrick's Shaving Day. We can happily take your donations to support and conquer kids' cancer. That's coming up tomorrow, so we will see you then. Bye, have a good lunch.